Hello, my friends, Jason Linear here, and this is going to be a really fun video about how to do a Halloween shoot. I'm going to be using something called a Smoke Ninja. Ooh. I'm going to show you a bunch of different lighting techniques. Wow. These look ridiculous, dude. We're going to be showing you a roller skating girl, a police lady, and then we're going to be showing you a Barbie girl. Howdy, partner. Where are y'all from? Oh, yeah, because I'm, well, y'all from? I'm from <laughs> Texas. <laughs> this is a Halloween special for 2023. I hope you enjoy. Anytime you want to do a Halloween shoot, um, it is going to be preferable to use a constant light. It's just, off, obviously, it's very dark out here. Um, so if I don't have constant light, it's going to be very hard to shoot. And obviously, I prefer roto light, but if whatever it is that you are using, constant light is going to give you best results. Also, having an RGB light will really help you. Uh, because then you can really help set the tone. So the first outfit that she wore, she had a blue uh, roller skating, kind of an outfit blue and white. So I used a baby blue backlight and accent lighting for that. For the cops, I used two different things, the police special effects inside of the light, which is really fun. And I also used a more darker blue, like a police blue. I used that for that shoot. And for the Barbie shoot, I'm gonna be using pink, obviously, to match the outfit and set the tone, paint some light on walls or on the floor with some reflection in the water, some really cool stuff. We have the light behind. So her job is to block that backlight, right guys? So you see that rim light? So if I, yeah. So what's your job, Hannah? Block the light. <laughs> so, so move, so if she can see the light on my face, there we go, she can block it just like that. Now this is something I'm using for the first time. Yeah, see, as soon as you show the proof, it comes out. Uh-huh. This is something called the Smoke Ninja. It has steam, dry ice, and fog. So if I push whatever I want it to do right here, and then I hold the button, it'll start to produce some fog. It's actually very, very cool. And it uses vegetable oil. Now, they sell a proprietary thing with Smoke Ninja. Uh, I don't. I haven't used anything but that, but it's, it doesn't smell like anything. It's like a big bait. The model, uh, Hannah, she stuck this uh, in her back pocket. Uh, in the front of her shirt to get the smoke coming out, which has is, is been some really cool effects. It's like a mini bag, well, a big bag. Also has a really cool attachment. When you put the wand on it and you like put it in a glass or something else, it'll really sit there and linger in that glass for like a minute or so. It's really a, a cool effect. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna put smoke <coughs> in the glass and then all over her. Head to toe? Why not? Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. One, two, and three. Remember, guys, give her feedback. <laughs> you, 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 I swear, British men are horrible, man. You guys don't talk. Work it, work it, Barbie pose it. Okay, let's hear your American Barbie. I swear I paid it bill. No, that's not right. Is that right? And the most important part of creating imagery is having a story. Howdy, howdy partner. <laughs> that's cute, but look to the light when you do that. Look up, look at the purse. For this one, we did something really fun saying that she had spent all of her money and the credit cards were <laughs> burning up her purse. You spent so much money on your card that you burned your credit cards. <laughs> so we put the Smoke Ninja inside of her purse and had a really fun shoot. So don't ever forget how important it is to tell a story. I think it looks ridiculous in a very good way. Okay. No, Texas, not in California. Where's Texas? Massachusetts? I don't know. <laughs> this is my best time. I love it. Here's Texas, here's California, here's Massachusetts. Oh, this is you. I used to be good at accents, but not anymore, as you can clearly tell. 
And it turns out that real life Barbies don't like getting their hair wet either. Okay, run into the bridge real quick. For lighting, I use the Innova Pro 3 as my key light and an AOS 2 Pro as my rim. I use the Sony a7 IV with the 50mm and 35mm lenses. And I used one Smoke Ninja. We hope that this video about how to do a Halloween shoot has been beneficial to and for you out there watching. So if you guys want more information on any of the stuff I've used, you can just go to jacelinear.com slash gear. So where can they find you? Um, it's Hannah H. Gracie, um, and that's my Instagram. Until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find out gear that works for you, and remember... Never give up on your dreams. <laughs> So, remember, <laughs> you only have one chance to get it right. Good job! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Peace.